Hey guys, Dan here. Uh, this is going to be a little more of an off-the-cuff video um, because it's it's actually about two new services I'm trying. I've never used either of these before and I don't really know anything about them either. So um, hopefully this experiment's successful. And if it's not, um, I'll be sure to tell you. But what I've decided to do is I placed an order with a company called White Rabbit Express. And basically they function as a middleman for purchasing items um, for people outside of Japan uh, from websites or services that you can only buy items in Japan. So for me, that means getting a hold of some of these Ava Color series paints from Gaia Color. Um, for whatever reason, I can't seem to find a shop in the U.S. that stocks them or that can get a hold of them, even you know otherwise uh, normal Gaia Color resellers. And uh, the only options I found on Amazon and um, eBay, the sellers want, you know, between $12 and $15 for a pot of paint, which is insane. That's, that's a quadruple markup over the baseline price. So what I've done is I've placed an order for most of the Ava Color Series paints. Uh, really, well, the colors for Unit 1 and Unit 2. Uh, when Unit 0 comes out, maybe they'll make some colors for Unit 0, and I'll pick those up too. Uh, these all are from the Gaia Notes uh, online store, and that's a store that doesn't ship outside of the U.S. or outside of Japan. And I've also placed an order for this Resin Evangelion Unit 1 um, drawing reference head. Uh, apparently, models either like this or based on this were actually used by Studio Gainax uh, to help their animators keep consistent drawings of the mecha during the show. Uh, and this actually comes from the Evangelion store. Uh, these have been in and out of production um, since I originally found them, and I really regretted not purchasing it when they first came out, and all of a sudden I saw it restocked today, and it kind of it got me on this path to give this service a try. Um, right now, what I know about the service is, obviously, you pay for whatever you're going to buy. There is a per item fee that you pay, which is, I believe, a dollar. There's a per store fee that you pay, so for every store that you purchase something from, it's four dollars. And then you also pay the delivery to um, this you know, reseller's location, right, within Japan. You pay them a service fee, and then, <laughs> once they get everything, they box it up and they give you a shipping estimate to ship it to you. So, I, what I have here is I have about eighty-four dollars worth of stuff. And they're charging me about forty-one dollars to 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 order it for me, and then they'll probably charge me another twenty bucks to actually ship it to me. So it's questionable as to uh, how much you really want to purchase through a service like this. However, if if you, there's something you really want, and you don't know anyone in Japan, and you don't plan on flying out to Japan to buy this thing, this service might be your only option. Um, but like I said, um, this is a test, right? So we're going to see how well the service works, if I can get the things that I've requested, and if, you know, they arrive in a timely manner and they're in good condition, that's what I ordered. So uh, hopefully in a couple of weeks I'll have a uh, follow-up video uh, just for you guys so you can see if this is something that you want to uh, to try for yourselves. Now, this isn't the only thing that I've decided to do. Uh, I recently broke apart on my current project, which is the Perfect Grade Unicorn, and in Googling around trying to find a replacement part, you know, I tried eBay, I tried the commerce thread on Arc and blah, I, I eventually just found a website that will get you a replacement part. Um, and that's this place, it's just called uh, Gundam Replacement Parts, it's a WordPress blog. But they basically they have a very simple order form. You check to see if Bandai has the parts uh, by going to their website and plugging in some information out of your manual. You fill out a simple form saying what parts you need, and then they shoot back an estimate saying this is how much it's going to cost, and this is what we're going to charge you to get the part. And I've decided to give it a shot. Um, I'm going to be honest, their pricing is a little high. There's a $12 service fee, and the part I'm ordering is only $4, so... This might be something you would want to approach if you're purchasing multiple parts, um, either because you want to kitbash something or because you, you broke a lot of things, which I hope you didn't, but hey, it happens. Um, 
And this process, they told me it takes between 10 and 14 days to get the part from Bandai, and then, you know, probably whatever time it's going to take them to ship it to me. Um, that the, the total price for this part is like $23, $24 that they quoted, but it also includes uh, shipping from Japan to my location. So, and that was about $7. So it, it, it's not terrible. Um, I seem to remember paying less when I was buying replacement parts through Gente kits. But then again, these guys are maybe just starting up and they don't have a good process yet. And, you know, maybe with economy of scale, their pricing will come down. Who knows? But um, hopefully in a couple of weeks, I can also report back on this company. And we'll see how their service uh, turns out. So I realize this is a really different type of video from what I normally provide for you guys. But, you know, let's um, let's see how this turns out. And uh, hopefully... Um, <laughs> I get what I pay for, uh, quite literally, and the services turn out well. So uh, check back in a couple of weeks. I'll have a follow-up video to this one, and um, we'll see what happens. All right, guys. Take care of yourselves. See you later.